Justin without a jersey. I said, where's your jersey, Justin? Well, I was like, Grunt Style's not on the jersey, so I just got a shirt. Right. I just got a new Grunt Style shirt in, too. It was on back order, and it just arrived. I got it over there on that, on my island. But I opted right. for the sweatshirt today. How do you wear a sweatshirt? It's like 90 degrees outside. It is an Arctic tundra in my house. We've been over this. You've lost control, Anthony. Yeah, we lost control. We we were like live three minutes ago. Don't worry about it. Oh, we, my we bad. Sorry. Damn it, Anthony. We do what we want. We do what we want. Yeah. All right, guys. We are live. Finally, I think. We're live for episode 184 of the Shooter's Mindset. Thank you for tuning in today. Co-host, all three of them's here today. Dustin Plus in the house. What's going on, Dustin? No What's jersey, up, guys. No jersey. Rocking the Crunch Style shirt today. The Marine Corps League for my match that we did. So special edition. So uh, I thought it was fitting to rock that today. They called your short bus the special edition too, didn't they? Yay! Yeah. yeah. There, there, there's a shirt right there. I I wear helmets. <laughs> I, I can tell that this show is already where this show is going to go. It's going to be a lot of dirt trading in this one. All righty. Uh, Jennifer Seymour is joining us. What's going on, Jen? Hey, everybody. And Nikki Clevenger is joining us here fresh off that – well, not really. I'm just going to say it because Candace is here. Fresh off that EOTech class. Kind of <laughs> like old news three weeks ago, right? Look, I'm still living the dream, so it's still fresh in my mind. We're going to hopefully we could get Candace to say how bad of a student you were or something <laughs> out of like the group. The whole time. She was great. Like, like she had to spend special attention to Nikki Clevenger and the rest of it got it right away. But Nikki required extra attention. If Sorry. that was like close to being true, I would like totally admit to it. But there, there were people with more questions than me and my nickname used to be questioned. So I was not the only one. Right on. Uh, joining us also is Candace Horner. Thank you for, for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Funny, we never we never met before. I was excited at when you, when I heard you were coming on. We never met before, not even through the internet. So really, we're like friends on Facebook, but that's not really official. No, that's but, official. Uh, that's what makes it official. Yeah, Maybe it's Facebook. Facebook. Oh, it is. Official. We haven't met in real life. Oh. That's just it doesn't oh, matter. Oh yeah. Like, so we've been friends, we've been friends for quite a long time, me and Candace. So I know her pretty good. well. <laughs> Have you celebrated like an anniversary yet on Facebook friends? No, I haven't shared that yet. Okay. I usually do though. That's what that's when I thought it was official when you get that one year you've been friends thing. Well no, the funny you put thing, a whole story together on Facebook. Do you see Nils's uh, relationship status? I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. What does like, it say? It was like in a relationship just, just just started a relationship or something. Yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, uh, that's been like years, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. That's like it wasn't always. official until it was on Facebook, though. So exactly. So they just started. Facebook's concerned. This is a brand new relationship. Exactly. That's when you know it's good. Also joining us, uh, the, the fellows from Grunt Style here, Joe Cayley, brand advisor. What's going on, Joe? Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me. Tim Jensen's also joining us. What's going on, Tim? How you doing? And that killer beard, oh. man. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. I'm looking forward to talking guns. Uh, everybody playing around and fiddling with them. I need to go run and grab mine. You have to have one in your hand the whole show. Yeah. That's the fidget that's the fidget spinner. Right. That's the adult fidget. Fidget spinner. Yeah. Yeah. Dry fire, dry fire. Yeah. I got it. Well you All got right, a cigar. Here. That's that's actually now I'm like, oh my humidor's over there. <laughs> Is Dustin, is this like a new thing for you to eat cigars? I never heard you talk about it other than. He's like been hanging out with TJ too long. Oh, yeah. Anthony yeah. throwing shade. Yeah. yeah all no, of a sudden sir. he's in the door going, and all of a sudden he's talking about cigars. I'm hey. like, it must be a new thing for you. No, hey. I've always been into cigars, but I kind of got it hardcore last uh, last year or so. So got into more than just bumming a cigar or getting one at a time. So now I'm like, I got 25 in my humidor right now. What's up? Dang. So, the uh, the waiting process is bullshit though. When you got to season that thing, you're just staring. It's like washing paint dry. Yeah. It's like any day now, any time. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, here are show sponsors on cigars, right? Uh, show sponsors here, are the folks over at Tactical Shit. Uh, Shop.tacticalshit.com is a good way to to get some great gear. They got they got what? They got the article. They got they just put out an email blast on the article fifty, the Rain Fifteen movie, right? They have like 25% off the DVD Blu-ray if you haven't saw that movie or if you don't own it. 
Not the clothes, AR parts, you name it. They kind of got over at Tactical Shit. Anything new that you know of from Tactical Shit? Uh, that's well, they I mean. actually uh, they have some grunt style Tactical Shit shirts. Oh yeah, so yeah. I do. Good friends, do good friends, grunt style. Yeah, so Facebook Live they had don't, a couple. Don't say that you're affiliated with them. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm in St. Louis, so I actually know those guys. <laughs> so it's your loosely, you know, affiliation is okay. So. I uh, know they're doing some specials. They just did a little tack pack uh, swag deal today at the shop. Um, so, yeah, there's all kinds of new stuff coming. So, yeah, head over to uh, their Facebook page, Instagram at tacticalshit.com or uh, shop.tacticalshit.com is the website to purchase all your goodies. Right on. And also, uh, we, we sponsor ourselves it's the sh over at the shootersmindset.com. Um, you can uh, keep up with the Shooters Mindset shows, blogs. We got a little shop. We use Nikki TSM10, I think. And One save, gin, gin TSM10. And save big bucks on stuff from mm -hmm. our shop. Nikki. Also, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to, if you're watching on the YouTube side of things, top right-hand corner, you can put your questions in there. Make sure we get those. We'll get them over to Joe, Tim, or Candace throughout the show. Or there's a Facebook post that just went live on the Shooter's Mindset Facebook page where you can just plug in your comment if you prefer to use the Facebooks. And we'll get those out um, throughout the show. Uh, but for those who are unfamiliar with you guys, uh, can you tell us, or who's who are familiar with, unfamiliar with uh, Grunt Style, can you tell us a little bit more about the company, how to get started, and who is the Grunt Style shooting team? Yeah, I guess. absolutely. Um, so Grunt Style started in 2009 with the owner, Daniel Alaric. Uh, he was a former drill sergeant in the field, uh, on the drill field. And, uh, he was getting out and, you know, was thinking of himself to himself, what's a better way of you know, taking the pride in military pride and country, uh, you know, and all those things with you when you're leaving the military. So, you know, he started up the shirt business, he started, started up Grunt Style. Uh, and you know, that's the best way of showing it, right? Is wearing it, wearing it on your chest, wearing it proud. Uh, and then, you know, kind of really born that, that the whole concept started growing out from there. Uh, you know, you pick up, took it on the road from bending all over the Southeast. Uh, you know, and then, uh, it, there was some ups and downs in it all. And, you know, we really started getting the traction around 2013. Uh, and I, I came on, let's see, uh, I've been with the company now for about four and a half years. I came on in early 2013 and, uh, was employee number five or six, something like that. And, uh, just from that point on, it seemed like the company was growing every month, uh, to where we are now. We've moved uh, four times in, in the time that we've been there, uh, I've been operating as a business. We got 240 individuals now in our staff, uh, nice. 50,000 square foot facility. Uh, and we're just continuing to expand the business and, and really just getting the, the, the grunt style name out in front of as many people as possible. We have well over 3 million products in circulation right now. So it's, uh, we got a lot of stuff out on the streets and you know, people just seem to love it. Uh, and then, you know, recently we've gotten into the shooting world. Uh, you know, I, I've had the opportunity of working very closely with Joe Cayley. Uh, he's one of our very first sponsors that the grunt style had in the shooting community. Um, and, you know, getting to go out and, and see him compete uh, really came to me. I was like, why isn't Grunt Style in this space? Why aren't we, you know, supporting the gun community? It's something that we're very much aligned with. Uh, you know, well, there's a lot of veterans, a lot of patriots in, in these, uh, you know, shooting in the shooting world. And, you know, that's really what our product is geared towards. Uh, so, you know, him and I just kind of were spitting, spitballing back and forth. And, um, you know, so array arose the Grunt Style shooting team. Um, and now we are about uh, we're five, got five members, Joe Cayley, Brian Morgan, Spencer Berry, and our newest addition, uh, uh, Candice Horner. So we're very proud to have her on the team. Uh, and, you know, here we are. We're just uh, going out, doing great things, really just having fun out on the range and uh, doing good work. I would tell you, the, uh, your story right there is it's not, as, it's not as entertaining as your uh, bedtime stories. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's the dry side of the business is really uh, of, like the growth. Nobody really wants to hear all that stuff unless you're uh, some sort of business person that you really, you know, is really uh, excited about hearing how you, you know, do double digit growth, blah, 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 blah. That shit's real all boring and everything. But, you know, <laughs> no, so. I can just, I hear your voice and I just think of 
So guys, let me tell you a little bit, a little bit about uh, you know, hey kid, about some some awesome ass guy, just yeah. taking out fifty dudes. So yeah, the bedtime stories have been really great. You know, it's uh, we get to you know, we've grown up. All of us have grown up in this country, and we really got to you know, read a lot about American history. But you know, and I'd say uh, how many of us have served? You know, probably you know, one, two, three, four, five of us uh, have served, and uh, that's in this room right now. And you know. You, the amazing thing about um, uh, American culture is that there are so many stories out there that of, of American, you know, exceptionalism. And we, we've been hearing over the years that American is not exceptional. Well, I, I find the I, I, kind of, I tend to think that's a, a fallacy. And I think that the what has made this country great is the stories and of, of great American individuals that have gone and endured some of the most incredible things that really uh, that I think needs to be talked about more and, and really put front and center in a lot of spaces. And, and that's really what the, the Violet But True Bedtime Stories is. It's an outlet, it's a vehicle uh, that we use to really highlight some of the most exceptional uh, people that have incredible stories that we just Yeah. Where, uh, Do you read the bedtime stories? Yeah. Because uh, your voice is like awesome. <laughs> yes, so uh, I do. Like I'm really reasons. intrigued. Like you're talking, and I'm like really intrigued by what you have to say. I'm like, <laughs> how is this happening? Like the bigger is question is, where did you get that onesie? That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, the legit. Uh, and is that not, a gun style thing? Is that on the gun style secrets, website, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we we're going into uh, uh, season two. Uh, so we filmed twenty of them so far uh, on the, the the bedtime stories, and uh, they've done really well. I mean. We're talking, uh, you know, some of these these videos have gotten up to 50 million in reach and uh, earned views. So I mean, they're really, really popular. Um, you know, we're going into season two, and it's going to be a little bit of a different story. Uh, you know, in in the next 20 episodes that we're filming, uh, so we're going to be highlighting a, uh, some different things and maybe a different uh, a location. You know, the, uh, the first season we were filming uh, in the first sergeant's trailer. Uh, <laughs> In, in his bedroom, uh, and he was in the night, uh, a nighty in a little nightcap. You read from yeah, the little stocking <laughs> cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe have a couple bourbons, uh, you know, here and there. But uh, it was a lot of fun. I think there was one episode where uh, the first sergeant was torturing uh, a nice an ISIS sympathizer in the back of the room. Uh, so that was really fun. <laughs> you need like a, a cot, and then uh, you know, just in some some hooch or something where. Just a connex box or something. Oh yeah. Well, if you guys, if you have a movie, I recommend them. Uh, not not only because I'm I'm in them and it's grunt style, but they're really good. They're really good. Uh, they're really good stories, um, and they're really something that uh, kind of again highlights the 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 really exceptional people of this country and what they've been able to accomplish. Um, and you know, like I said, going into season two, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. That's going to, I think, change change it all and and, and really bring some. Some bigger spotlights to things that have happened in our country. It's it's not your average uh, History Channel yeah uh, you know, <laughs> segment. So there's a lot of, there's I don't. <laughs> there's there's a little bit of yeah, a little bit of language. You're like, where can we, where can we find these if you wanted to watch up or catch up on? Uh, you can you can find them in two places. You can find them at the Grunt Style Facebook page, um, or you can find them all on the, the Grunt Style YouTube page. Uh, you'd probably be a little bit easier on the YouTube page because you can watch them from episode one to twenty all in sequence. Uh, and you're just doing a vo voiceover, right? It's kind of like Morgan Freeman. No, it's a whole video. Uh, oh, yeah. oh man, I was hoping yeah. for the voiceover, but that's where the onesie <laughs> comes into play. There's yeah. a onesie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a onesie, a night stock, a little stocking cap deal. Yeah. He's got a he's got a big book. He opens up. Yeah. Just oh, think. Think yeah. uh, what's the night before Christmas? Yeah, night before night Christmas in Mister Rogers' neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. but with mm -hmm. like a grunt, a yeah. first sergeant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a first sergeant. A guy, and... Yeah, a guy who lives in a trailer down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but the river is you know, like a parking lot. <laughs> well, and, then, and he's telling you about you know Halfcock and how he took a rifle and smoked twenty VC in the river as they were cross, you know, crossing the river at two in the morning. And how you know this guy was injured twelve times and still got to a mortar and and there was no mortar base so he just hit it on his head and threw it at the dude and it blew it up. Yeah. My, my favorite story by far was uh, the story of Dan Daly, uh, and that's uh, you know that's probably I, I think is like episode seventeen. But uh, man, what a what an incredible story! Like the the story of him at the Boxer Rebellion where he killed two hundred Chinese uh, boxers. 
by himself. His patrol come up uh, the next morning because he did it all by himself. And he's sitting there smoking a fucking cigarette amongst a, a scattered battlefield of the dead. <laughs> man, I got to catch up on these. <laughs> yeah, they're good, man. They're good stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. you, you just go to sleep afterwards. It's, it's weird. You're like, watch when you're... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Josh, Han- <laughs> Josh Hansen Shooting Sports says, "Hey, uh, hey, you have to love how Grunt Style has so many different shirt designs and gear that works for U.S. civilians and not just veterans." Absolutely, absolutely. That's one thing that we really pay a lot of attention to. Is you know when when it first started, it was a little bit weird because you know we get questions all the time, like, "Hey, I'm a you know I love this country. I, I've never served in the military. Can I wear your stuff?" And we're like, "Absolutely." You know. Our, our, our apparel's for everybody. Our apparel's for people that absolutely love America and what America has done in the, in the short relative uh, span of its existence. You know, it, this product is not meant for the military. It's not meant for uh, one specific niche crowd. It's, it's meant for everybody that has a sense of pride and self, pride in military, pride and country. Uh, and I think we've done a really, really good um, uh, presentation on that and, and uh, you know, putting that product in front of as many people as possible that uh, that can really appreciate it. Um, but we still get those questions. You know, it's like a lot of people, you know, don't understand what the assaulting flag means, right? Uh, a lot of people say, hey, th- your, your shirts have cross rifles on it. I never served in the infantry. Can I wear your stuff? Um, you know, we get those questions still. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, if you love your country, you'll love our product. Yeah. Well, and there's there are some companies out there that do not make a civilian version or a generic Hey, supporting you know America, supporting the troops, supporting first responders, anything like that. So they just make a specific. If you're not this or you're not, you don't like that. That's it. Yeah. Um, and and, and there's a lot of guys out there that don't want the, in essence, like the stolen valor per se. I guess yeah. the you know associated one because they don't, they definitely don't support any of that, and they do definitely want to support things, but then they they feel that niche of like, yeah. Well, I I want to help, but I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. Then that's. Uh, again, that's just educating everybody on really what uh, what the product is about, what the brand represents, and um, you know, I think um, you know, with the, there's a lot of shirt companies out there. You know, Grunt Style is one of many in a sea of of budding apparel, right? Because you know, it's a low barrier to entry, um, you know, uh, business. You know, you, anybody can go up to a store and buy a you know heat press for you know thousand dollars, and next thing you know, you're making apparel. But you know, at the end of the day, it's what what type of apparel are you making? What what does the brand represent, and, and who are you trying to communicate to? Who are you trying to uh, really appeal your product to? And I think that's where Grunt Style has made a, a significant difference uh, across the board. And there's a lot of great companies out there, you know, uh, especially in the in the, the veteran market. You've got uh, you know Ranger Up, great company. You got uh, you know, Article 15. All these guys that really make great stuff. Um, and you know, the one thing that I love about this market is that there's there's a place for everybody. Right? It's just, you know, what to, what what can the veteran community do together to that really gets to uh, continue to forge forward and, uh, you know, really just show what uh, the veteran is capable of doing. I think that's really what Grunt Styles has, has shown and all these other companies that are out there uh, are showing is that, hey, you know, we can we can go out and kick in doors. We can go in and, and you know, do all this, this violent shit, but at the end of the day, you know, we are some well-trained individuals that understand the, the importance of task and purpose. Uh, and we can, you know, really easily switch that over into a business mindset and be successful by you know, organizing great teams, organizing uh, a business, um, you know, organizing communication, right? That, that's really what uh, the veteran uh, brings to, you know, the, the, the rule of economics in the, in the private industry. Yeah. And like you said, like everybody, it's, apparel companies are a dime a dozen, right? Everybody kind of has one or, I mean, they're kind of everywhere. What, yeah. what kind of, what makes grunt style apparel kind of stick out from the rest? Is it, is it the shirt quality? Is it the designs and the timing of the designs or is it just a combination of both? Uh, you know, that's a great question. Um, you know, and it, is there an answer? I think it's a, a little bit of everything. You know, there's not one thing that has, that makes grunt style great. You know, uh, you know, one person can look at Grunt Style and say it's the greatest thing in the, in the planet, and the other guy can look at Grunt Style and say, yeah, it's a good shirt. You know, it's it's, it's quality, and you know, uh, but there's something that they they find that uh, that attaches them themselves to it. I think what uh, Grunt Style, what we do differently from other companies, is we just know how to communicate uh, straight to that individual, right? Uh, and we do it in a very um, 
different way than a lot of other businesses. Um, you know, we really uh, do well in the social media spaces and, and, and removing any barriers of, of marketing uh, that you would find in a traditional sense. We just bring it straight to the individual so we can serve it right to you on your phone, you know, any time of the day. You can you can look at it and see what we're doing because we're, we're very helpful. We're very transparent. I think that's, I, I would say the thing that's secret behind that. On, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, when I, I mean, we all own tons of tons of T-shirts from you know shooting shirts, shooting style shirts. And the one thing, that if I'm gonna go, if I go out and purchase a shirt, the one thing that could be a deal breaker, well, I mean, it should be with kind of any apparel, is you wash it a few times. It either does some big time shrinking, or maybe hell, maybe we don't know how to do laundry, or it just shit's coming off, shit's falling off. Sure. I mean, the shirt quality's got to be. Your quality is a big thing. Absolutely, you know, we spent uh, a lot of years trying to find the right uh, the right product. Um, you know, and uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where I can I can legitimately say, you try on a, a ground style shirt, it's going to be one of the the best shirts you ever put on. You know, and again, you know, we we've spent a very long time trying to find that great product, uh, and we, we're continuing to refine that process because as technology increases, there's new opportunities to make. A softer, a blended cotton or a poly cotton, or the way that the loom, uh, and we're continually uh, going out there and looking at new ways of, of finding these materials. And you know, uh, I would say that uh, you know, there's some, some really good opportunities coming up for Grunt Style in the future. That's going to again change the, the, the industry uh, is is looked at, at right now. And I think that those things are very exciting. Uh, one of the other things I think uh, is uh, important in quality is standing behind that. If you don't stand behind the product that you're making. You know, what good is your what good is your business right and for us what we've uh, done is that we uh, you know we spend a lot of time uh, refining our processes uh, right now I have uh, I'm running about a six Sigma five company in terms of uh, parts produced per uh, in regards to um, you know so we have a very very good and detailed QA QC process um, and any shirts that uh, kind of you know slip through that you know it's very few and far between um, or you know, uh, if the individual uh, gains a little weight, or loses some weight, or uh, rips it, stains it, tears it, whatever, you know, the beer guarantee that we have is something that uh, I think is a little bit different. That hey, send it back, we'll replace it at no cost, and you get a and you get a brand new shirt out of it. And that's, you call that the that's the beer guarantee? Yes, sir. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. Beer, that's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. And there's definitely some technology. I I mean, I was in the apparel game for uh, for many years. Uh, with a dye sublimation company, so uh, so some people you're 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 talking, you're putting them to sleep more than the bedtime stories, but uh, but uh, for me, I understand that because that was my life for you know solid four plus years. Uh, so I definitely know that there's there's definitely some technology and some technique just to making a T-shirt, and you think, oh shit, I can go to Walmart and get a T-shirt, but yeah, that's gonna be garbage compared to you know this quality, and there you do pay for what you get. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so. I'll I'll be the first to say the day to days of my business is very boring. <laughs> <laughs> Going out and looking at all this boring ass shit and, and trying to find ways to be better, uh, you know. And but we get to do the great stuff like grunt, the Grunt Fest that we take all over the country. Um, you know, we just had Grunt Fest five out in Colorado Springs. About two thousand people had come up, uh, come to join us at that party. Uh, we're gonna have Grunt Fest six here in Chicago at the uh, end of uh, end of August. Uh, and then Grump Fest Seven in San Diego at Fleet Week uh, in October. You know these are great opportunities that you know both patriots and veterans can get together, have a wonderful time, drink a lot of alcohol, and and really have the time of their life. Uh, this uh, Grump Fest Five we had uh, POD right for anybody that you know can rem uh, you know remember back in the early days of the Iraq War, man, that was on almost every uh, you know moto video next to Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, you know? Well. I can tell you that uh, if you come to St. Louis, I can get the story of the year. So I know that it's just saying, just saying, yeah. not, you know. Dustin over here dropping names like he's somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a couple of questions coming up for Candace here. What do you got, Nikki? Candace, hey. Monday, um, NRA Shooting Sports USA put out an article and listed you as one of the top 50 women in competitive shooting. Have you seen that? Yeah. I How do you feel day. about that? Uh, at first it was like that initial like 
knee-jerk reaction that most women have to compliments. You know how like somebody says, oh, you look beautiful today. You're like, oh, no, no. And then it's like, get better at taking compliments. And um, so then I read the list and I, you know, I read uh, John's article and I was like, oh, okay. Because it was a great culmination of women who, because my, my initial reaction goes to women who are like champions and winning. And there were a ton of them that were on that list. And a lot of my friends were on that list. Um, and then when I read through it, I was like, okay. So it's not only women who are champions and are, who are blazing that path. There's a bunch of women on there that are blazing a path of like the relationship side of it and having that better connection to help growth of grow the shooting sports. So I took a step back and then kind of looked at it from a different angle and was like, oh, okay, like this is like, this is amazing. It's a great honor because it's, you know, I'm not only on a list with a bunch of champions and women who are just phenomenal, but I'm on a list of women who are truly really making a, dis a, a, a difference on like a grassroots level. So it's, it's really cool. I, I got excited. I was reading through it and there's some names where I'm like, I don't know who this person is. And I read about them. I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. And there's some people I got to, I was like, okay, awesome. Okay. Typical. You expect to have your, you know, your Lena's and everybody on there. And then every now and then somebody would come across that I, I knew like, you regina was on there i was like nice this yeah. is awesome yeah. like real like people i actually know i mean you i've mm. met lena and everything like that and ashley grew, shoots 10 minutes down the road at the same range as me but you know when you actually meet people that you're friends with and you know that you're going to be in candace or you know pretty much in a relationship because we did that <laughs> class together um yeah, it's, it's excited to, it's exciting yeah, it's gotten that far. I mean, it's it's pretty almost official. <laughs> pretty serious. See, guys are different. Together, I mean. Pretty much, guys are different though. We don't take criticism that way. I'm like, hey, good job, Tim. You fuck ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah. There's yeah. there's been times. I love criticism, like constructive criticism. That's one thing. Like, perfect. Yeah. But like the nice, like compliment, just like genuine compliment type things. That's one thing that so many women need to get better at, and I'm guilty of that. So. You start sure, second guessing it. Like, why are they saying this to me? What do they really sure. want? I tell you, I tell you what. I was going through my feed and I saw it, and I'm like, I didn't, it didn't, it, right, I didn't see who wrote the article at first. I'm just like, top 50 women. I'm like, man, this is gonna cause a shit show because it's gonna be the best looking top 50 women or something. You know how everybody puts out the, those the top, top 10, 10. lists. It yeah, was the, the 50 best looking women. Candace was in it. You better watch what you but say, you, Anthony. They you were always, about to dig a hole. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It wasn't the best looking women. Nice, it was just nice, women nice, in the nice. industry who are awesome, right? And everybody puts out these like lists, and all the women get pissed off because they're like, hey, I don't want to be involved in this, you know? And, but And then I looked at who wrote it, and I'm like, okay, it's the NRA. So I cannot watch the comments now. It's not like, you know, it wasn't going to well, be there, there were plenty of people that were, that were not on that list that would have made sense to be on that list and it's like, like who Nikki are like, Clevenger, she's like seventh best in the world i was disappointed not to see that <laughs> so, so. there was a girl on the list that weren't on the list and but what i got from it was that it was just a great culmination of like several different paths and women that were doing different things so it was cool yeah, it was awesome. Good job we put out that article. Well, I think we shared Good it with list. Shooters, I, say, I like I like that it was a list of people of women that are doing different things for the industry and not just like your top competitive shooters because I've seen plenty of those lists and it's the same names over and over, over and over again. We get it. I want to know who's making yeah. a difference. Who's That's what that's what I mean. I, see, see, I don't word things very right. That's what I kind of meant by it. I thought it was going to be one of those shit show lists and everybody's going to get pissed <laughs> off where they got ranked. Did we make a, a guy? It's like, what? Man, I just went nationals. I should be first. Didn't we have a guy gun bunny list one time when it was all when yeah. that was the craze? Yeah, that's what it, that's what that's what encouraged us to put the the gun bunny. I mean, the guy gun bunny list. Yeah. Best hair. Who was number? It was Craig Outson who was number one. Like Keith Garcia was four. Yeah, Chad. Yeah. Chad was on there was looking all dumb. Yeah. Chad Francis. Yeah. <laughs> Mohawk. Mm -hmm. Chad Francis. That was. Yeah, we try to find the most worst pictures we can, or the best pictures we can put on there of them. I feel like that needs to be reshared for Father's Day. No, no yeah, we, did we, the, did we did the range dad one. Yeah, we did. Yeah, range dad. Mm -hmm. Dustin yeah. made that list as a range dad. Yeah. <laughs> My daughter was, got a, she was out at the Marine Corps having, shooting, helping out. Excellent. She's going to be kicking your ass in no time. Man. Probably so. She already has sponsors. Shit. 
Really? Yeah, she's rocking. Sponsor. She's rocking pro ears. She's got a contact holster. Uh, she got edge technical eyewear. She contact booth. I mean, at the contact booth at NRA, she was working it. I saw her before uh, I saw away, you. I was like, hey, I know that kid. <laughs> I know her. She gave oh. away more flyers to more people than everyone else in that booth combined. Uh, yeah, how can you? You can't decline a flyer from her. From a, from a little girl like that, you just can't. Yeah. You get so many flyers at Chacho, you're just like, dude. It could have been the yeah. dude from. It could have been Scott Carnan from like uh, Sierra Holsters or uh, Safari Land Holsters, and she'd have been like, "All right, I'll take a contact holster thing. <laughs> I'll look into it." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Havoc Legion shooting team is checking in. He says, "Awesome to see more companies getting into supporting the sport." Also, he says, "Uh, what uh, identifies one of those best looking male viewers of the shooter's mindset?" Just saying. <laughs> Do we need to have a, a viewer top ten? Yeah, we can he viewer top ten. He checks in best every looking. show. I mean, he is yeah best as looking, loyal best as looking viewers that watch the Shooters Mindset show list coming soon. Maybe. <laughs> um, JB Screech says he's late. I'll replay from the beginning. Okay, so yeah, awesome. Appreciate you guys with the questions. Any any live over on the Facebook? Jen, you want to jump in? Okay. Throw any. I'm looking. There? I'm looking. Hang on. Hold that thought. <clears throat> Um, Not I'll, I'll yet. throw this one in there. And I mean, in the meanwhile, are are your shirts uh, grunk style shirts? I mean, are they all made in the USA, or some are, some aren't? Well, we got a good, healthy, a good, healthy mixture. You know, um, the, that's here's the problem with a lot of things in uh, the manufacturing production world side, right? Uh, people want the American product, but they don't want to pay the American prices, right? So, and they're going to make the biggest complaints on their Chinese-made cell phones. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious so we, and so we, true what we do at Grunt Styles we, we give a good mixture we, you know, we, uh, we really we have a four step process on how we like the, the source materials uh, and we obviously go with American Made first and if that doesn't make sense then we go into uh, some of our different streams um, you know, but we really like to stay within uh, like the, anything that's like kind of NAFTA uh, if we can't source American so it kind of keeps it within the, the hemisphere of the Americas, right? Uh, but um, you know, there's, you know, I, I don't give those Canadian jobs. Took our jobs. Hey, guy. <laughs> hey, guy. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about it, guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and, and I think what the most important thing I want to, I'd like to say about that is, you know, Grunstall is making a really, really, really hard attempt to bring back American manufacturing. Um, you know, within the next, uh, you know, three or four months, you're going to see Grunt Style getting into a whole different side of manufacturing, uh, and it's going to be very exciting. And we're going to bring a lot of jobs uh, to uh, Carroll Stream and, and possibly other places that uh, just make sense. And we're going to put Americans back to work, and, and we're going to be part of that whole strategy of, of you know, just American manufacturing. Uh, the only way that it's going to happen is if more companies get involved in it and and we start producing more and manufacturing more here in the states, and that will eventually bring those costs down because, you know, it's just uh, it's just one of those things. Like especially the textile industries, you know, in the in the you know seventies and eighties, you see a lot of these big textile mills shut down and go and shut her up because, uh, you know, the cost of labor was too high. You had a lot of uh, outside influences uh, that were just really impacting the industry, uh, and you know. What's business's ultimate goal to drive down the bottom dollar? And you know, in doing so, you know, I guess we saw the, not the most appropriate things, but the, those businesses going offshore, and and you know that that doesn't sit well with me and and the, and the team that we have at Grunt Style. So, you know, our initiative is to uh, produce and manufacture here more in the states uh, and, and just bring more jobs. I, I guarantee that. Uh, you know, by the end of uh, 2017, we'll be, we'll be around three, three and a quarter uh, uh, personnel, uh, and it's going to be continuing to grow. And uh, you know, the the big the big strategy is you know to have over a thousand employees in the next three years. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, people uh, want that American made product, but just like you said, they don't want to pay the price or the turnaround times. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the big thing. Yeah, you could buy something for China, but it's uh, it's going to take you know. 12 months to get it to you. Um, yeah. But if you want it from Joe Bob down the street, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta chip up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly right. So it's, again, it's just uh, making, making it the, 
a variety for the consumer. So they can give them the choice to make that, that purchase. If they want to pay the exorbitant prices on American product, hey, Grunt Style has those. Uh, if they want the, the, the uh, quality, uh, you know, less expensive, you know, uh, with the same guarantees, we have, the, we have that product as well. So it's really up to the consumer what they want. We give them a good variety. Of Excellent. We're going to move on to discount corner here. We're going to, we're ready. We almost, we are at the midway point of the show, man. It's going quick already. Uh, we're going to hit up with the discount corner. Jen usually starts us off. What do you have? You can get 10% off at Carbon Arms with the code TSM10 and buy all the shell caddies you want or um, shotgun tube extensions or you can get a nice chest rig like this. So you can have all the shotgun shells you want. 10% off at carbonarms.us. There you go. Uh, Nikki, any discount stuff? Yeah, am I muted? Okay. Yeah, check out American Defense Manufacturing. Uh, use discount code 3GUN10. It's number three, the word gun, and the number 10. Save you 10% on mounts and other stuff, everything except serialized items. Uh, hit me up. I got all my friends' discount codes where you got to be friends with me. Not really. You just got to message me on Facebook, and I can give you 20% off the true spec, and I think it's 15% with Criterion barrels. So if you're looking for a new barrel for your rifle build, hit me up. I'll uh, save you some money over at Criterion. Ooh, that's all. You, that's all you got. to feel like you're missing one. It's nice, short, and sweet today. No, I think I mean, that's it. You're coming fresh oh, off Red vacation. Hill. Yeah. Red Hill Tactical. Red Hill Tactical. Yes, yeah, so if you want Kydex holsters. I knew you were missing. It was too short. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. Yeah. Like you just yell Clevenger at them, and they'll give you ten percent off. There you go. Oh you yeah! Don't forget my discount code at the Shooter's Mindset store is oh, Jen. Oh, shut up! Shut Jen? up! I'm talking. <laughs> is Jen TSM ten. Use my yeah. discount code. Jen had, uh, Dustin has one. It's Dustin TSM10. If anybody cares to use that one, I don't know. Not many people. Nobody do. cares about Dustin. I'm better yeah. looking. He ain't ever here. I'm surprised he's that here shit's now. Weak. It's yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't, Where have you don't, been? don't bring in there. Don't bring that up. Yeah. I was doing uh, you stuff. Don't, you don't even I was, go I was winning trophies and shit. You don't no. even go here. You don't even know me. Dustin, <laughs> Dustin won. <laughs> What is it? Uh, first IDPA Marksman Award? What you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the newbie award guy <laughs> thing. Yeah, for sure. the newbie award. Uh, Sam Bagan. Sam Bagan. Right. Um, yeah, I Bagan. got I got discount codes, you jack wagons. So you can go to uh, <laughs> comptechcultures.com. C O M P dash T A C dot com. Awesome inside the waistband mag pouches. That's my everyday carry. Uh, Infidel Ultramax and their concealment mag pouch. Uh, competition holsters, mag pouches, everything you want. Use Dustin One, get you ten percent off of those guys. Head over to X Products. Uh, I don't have my side charger; it's over there. Uh, but they got side charger uppers in every caliber you can think of. They got drums for everything that you want. So why reload when you have a drum? Uh, you can use Dustin Ten to get ten percent off of there. And uh, Nikki was giving you twenty percent off. I'll give you twenty five percent off of proper gear. So Ooh. hit me up on the Facebook tube. On the oh, just got That's how we killer do it. Deals. Killer deals. That's how we do it. So uh, hit me up on that uh, for That's proper. They can't give that shit away. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just sure, kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding, Dustin. I have. Uh, this, I still have the bracelet, the flashes, and all that's that. That's right, you do. For 50 years, I mean, our uh, our veterans have been rocking it. So I mean, well, just fuck me, right? So, um, <laughs> and if you want anything uh, black nitride, because black nitride does matter, hit me up on the face tubes or Instagrams, and we'll get you some black nitride at discount code. So, boom. Thanks. Yeah, Jennifer. Jennifer, you had you don't have any twenty five percent off proper discount codes yet? No, I just use Dustin's. He's never here anyway, so I can just use his. Pretty much. <laughs> well, that's well said. There you go. I got a couple here. I got it from the folks over at Tactical Shit. Ten percent off TSM ten. Save you ten percent off at shop.tacticalshit.com. If you're over in the St. Peter, St. Louis area, all these trophies. If you go to, so hard. You're interrupting my my tactical shit codes. Oh, I got a tactical shit koozie here that I can. I can. Yeah. TSM10 saves you 10% off on their website. If you go to their retail store and yell at the cashier, TSM10, you will save 10% off also at their retail store. I think you store. should have to video the yelling at the register and... <laughs> Nikki muted. For those of you that don't know, Nikki just muted Dustin so he can't talk. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's getting real it's, now. Yeah, I will give you. I'll give you an extra two percent off if it's a short little guy who looks like me, but a little wirier. His name's Cam. So if you grab him and scream at him, and it's on video or photos, I'll give you an extra five percent off. Of your uh, Tesco shit order. Do it. All right, Terran Tactical Innovations. Also, TerranTacticalInnovations.com. TSM10 saves you 10% off anything over at TerranTacticalInnovations.com. Word is that the MMP Shield base pads are coming out real soon. I might have a couple. Not now, but they're coming real, real, real soon. So if you guys have – and everybody has, like, an MMP Shield nowadays because they went, like, crazy cheap on them, and then they have $75 mail-in rebate. So everybody can, has one? Yeah, I don't have one, but I'm just. I, I, don't I mean, have one. I thought about it a couple oh. times because it was like three hundred dollars with like seventy five dollar mail and rebate. It's like, why not? It's almost tempting. Cause it's it's kind of cheap, right? Um, but if you do, if you're one of those many people who do have one, yes, yeah, stay tuned. MMP Shield base pads from TTR coming out. Um, lastly, here I got a uh, Rancilp Mindset Sixteen saves you fifteen percent off. Rancilp.com Mindset Sixteen. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, grunt style guys, Joe, do you have any, uh, discount codes off the top on the fly? That'd be deal. Uh, 65% so off any, any green shirt. I, I got a box of pro V one X's I'll give out. <laughs> there you go. Boom. I got a, uh, a, a cigar from, uh, the white house. Uh, Nice. From the other administration, I'll just give that away too. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but if you y'all are always giving out discount codes. Every time I go to y'all's website, there's like put your email address in and spin this wheel, and you're gonna get a discount. Yeah, so, I mean, um, <laughs> so they have um, GS Ambassador give you a ten percent discount code. There you go. GS Ambassador. There you go. Yep. There you go. For any good sell needs and deals at grunstyle.com. You just get yeah. random things order, in your order now. It's the first person who orders might get us a car mailed to them. You should just put random show. shit in the, the tactical shit actually used to do that. Sometimes they do it if they if they know you. Uh, but you should just put random like here's like a a half used pen that's like got chew marks on it. Throw that shit in the back. <laughs> or like what do you got in the background? <laughs> like uh yeah, I'll take that half used bourbon bottle in the background. There you go. So <laughs> that yeah. bourbon you'll ever drink. Yeah. Yeah. Backwash bourbon. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, we had a uh, another one. Uh, I want to talk because I mean, ever since uh, they announced the gas gun division and the, all these long range, all these, you know, different clubs and sports and you know, with the NRL, the they got Driga Nation Precision that are in the talks, PRS, gas gun, PRS, all this stuff. We all of us here on this panel kind of got real interested in the long range game. Um, I went and got interested, then, and then you all jumped on the bandwagon. Let's just get oh, yeah. that straight. I've only been about six that five that all day. It's just Jen has all the connections, and she got it first. That's it. That well, that was it. She got the setup first. That's what it, Night Force Optics, all that stuff. It was like, dude, I had to save my coins for Night Force. You know, but uh, what uh, what? Damn it, I'm off track now. Shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, That's what you get. Uh, we, we were all interested in long range shooting. Candace put on an all ladies course over at Core over in Baker, Florida. Nikki attended that. I was really jealous that it was all ladies and I couldn't attend. You can identify. Um, are, you can identify with whatever you want, Anthony. Exactly. You that is use, true. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. You about use that. whatever bathroom in your house that you want. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, whatever bathroom. Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? Oh, man. We're losing control. We're losing, yeah. So I guess I missed out because I totally forgot about the identity. I can identify as any. I could have attended that. You could have. Um, I wouldn't Shit. have. I would have put you to work, honestly. I would have made you take pictures for me. What if he has like a wig on? And he's like, grass. So it's. I'm a net. Oh, man. so uh, the but the question is the question is do do you plan to put any more of those classes on, um, or all male or all girl classes or whatever whatever we whatever, whatever it is. Whatever you identify with. Yeah, because I I would like to attend one because I know Jack shit. I I have some cool equipment, some really cool equipment, but cool equipment doesn't win you matches. I mean it helps. Yeah. Uh 
Well, the match was uh, the match. The class was a great success. It was one of those. It was kind of last minute. It was um, there was there's like a three gun like lady. What's up, everybody? I get it. But we're in the middle of talking about something. Go. <laughs> Go to work. Make money. <laughs> yeah, it was. Sorry, uh, yeah. There was a there was a group, a three gun ladies group, and there were there was a discussion on what kind of classes would you be looking for, and there was a huge response for long range. And then I commented like long range as in like real long range or like three gun long range. And um, there was a mix of both responses. So I decided to try to make the class. And then I had like this little like light bulb of, oh, try to make it free. So um, it all worked out and came together because Eotech picked up the class to be like the main sponsor of it. And then Dan Defense sent guns and Black Hills ammo sent a ton of ammo. And um, the the range down in Florida, where it was at, is Core Shooting Solutions, and they didn't charge us range fees, and they set up the ladies with lodging, and so um, everything came together. So all the the women had to do was just cover their travel. Um, so if, if I can make all that happen again, like in that perfect like stars aligning way, then yes, it will happen uh, again for sure. Send our that emails out to EOTech and Daniel Defense right now. We want to all mail. <laughs> Contact. I know. I know some folks at Core. We can get this going. No, well, I'll I'll be willing to pay. But if we can get it, you know, if we can just contact the company. Just bombard them. I was them totally over. bummed that I couldn't come. So I want you to like to message me on the next one. Well, I have yeah. a I have a wait list. So everybody that emailed me and wanted to be on the wait list, like I have that, and so like they're gonna get the first dibs. What? I can't go again. Oh, bummer! <laughs> I didn't tell you because I knew I couldn't go, so I didn't. I knew the date. I couldn't make. You can just email me and be like, add me, and I'll add you to a list. Okay. I'm gonna email you right now. Add me. Friend her, friend her on <laughs> Facebook. Send her a PM. Uh, email whatever <laughs> you got. Um, I don't know what happened to Dustin, but uh, I mean, but <laughs> he saw what we saw. Yeah. <laughs> did he see it? Because yeah, I didn't think he saw it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't I'm totally. I didn't. I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" I have no idea what's going on. No. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I definitely. We'll talk about this later. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this, I'm interested this will be too, discussed I, when we are no longer live. Yeah, I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to take one of these classes too, because I I know nothing about long range shooting and how to how to. You know, scope adjustments and dope, and I'm just gonna go over there. Oh shit! I'm just gonna hold over everything and hope, hope and pray. Like just That's crank off two. Gas gun. That's what you do for gas gun. So like as long yeah, as you know how to crank two off and hope one, hope you hear a ding, and if not, just move on. That's three gun. You can't do that in long range. Look, I'll, I'll tell you who's a great who's a great male uh, trainer for long range. That's uh Mr. Putter right there, Joe Kaley. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Joe, man, I'm trying to. We're trying to get you involved here. Some Bigfoot stories. What I mean, what do we, what do we got it? Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm, man, I, I'm I'm trying to close that chapter in my life about Bigfoot. Forget uh, <laughs> when you're officially a, a hunter, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I mean, I I helped Jen a little bit on the range. I know we need to get together again. A little one day, and then, uh, you know what? Uh, you know, Tim. I mean, uh, you and I shot Mammoth Sniper together. Um, you know what? No formal training. You just went out there and uh, first trigger pull was uh, your first round <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. in competition, which was awesome. We did well. Yeah, yeah, but we took fourth place. I know we beat so many accomplished like <laughs> shooters that trained all year for that. You know, it's amazing <laughs> what a V8 powered Jeep and a heater will do for you. <laughs> 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 Candace was one of the only women ever win that. Yeah. That, oh. um, That's right. That's right. I, I am the only woman to win it with my husband. Um, I'm, I'm one of the only women to complete it. <laughs> Just say. Go throw that out there. I'm, I'm, I'm Candace's hype girl. I'm just going to sit over here and just be like, yeah, well, Candace. Did this. Don't look now, but there's some creepy dude behind you. I know. I told him Top he couldn't interrupt 50. Candace talking, but now that she was done talking, he could come over. Just reach back. <laughs> there there you go. Go. Uh, women, the women's line of clothing. Different materials used for women over, you know, standard med T-shirt. Any? You guys have anything else? I know. I'm not really super excited about asking. I don't know. I should have had Jen ask it or something. <laughs> oh, you mean the grunt style female attire? 
Yes. I have some grunt style team. I got a grunt style shirt. Just came in female. Uh, it's it's all the same, man. Uh, except the sizes. I, I don't know how the sizes work. I, I'm not in that game. But uh, I, can, I can give my two cents there. There you go. There you go. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like late. That, I always do a shirt. I'm sorry to cut you off, uh, Candice. There, we uh, when we always run runs on our TSM shirts. There's always a couple ladies that say, "You have ladies cut." And I'm like, what the hell is a ladies' cut? I don't, I don't know. And they, they have tank tops. I'm like, shit. Well, damn, I got to do a lot more ordering of of t-shirts next time. So I'll learn on this one. They only have to make you, a ladies' cut because I mean, ladies' cuts. What, are what is the lady cut? What What is this? What are you talking about here? They're like true it's to size. It's like a shrink down of a regular shirt because if you just shrink it down, things don't fit the way they're supposed to. It doesn't work <laughs> out. Because so, guys uh, shape, like, very square. Technical. Very technical. Yeah. Yeah. And I have hand motions going, you know. Right <laughs> <laughs> there, Mom. Huh? This, you can't even see it, but it, 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 they are cut different. They got a little bit smaller sleeves to fit, you know, they don't have these, like, yeah. I can't sleeves, sleeves if you don't have big arms. Oh. That's Reaper. That Reaper. I don't know. Yeah. So they, it, it's tapered in the waist, it's, you know, uh, for to accentuate yep. the, the hips and, I guess, and all those. Fun, fun female things. I don't know. And a lot of them are a little bit longer, so it's nice because if you bend over, it's like people aren't going to yeah. see your panties and stuff. So, yeah. Victoria's Secrets. They're, they're good. Good shirts. Okay, so we just learned a ton of good new stuff on Ladies Cut here on, <laughs> on the show. All ladies shirts. Yeah, you did. Just about. I had to get a men's sweatshirt, though. Ladies still fit in men's sweatshirts, so I just had to get a small, and it's still yeah. kind of big, but... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a trend too. Uh, a lot of a lot of females what? like to buy bigger hoodies, right? Um, I like big hoodies. I if I buy a big hoodie, if I buy, she likes stealing all my shirts. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I regret inviting you to come over here. <laughs> Sleep in his Is that shirt. like a th yeah? So that's a three X shirt. You like borrowing, Nikki? Uh, he's he's a two X, and actually now he can fit in a single X. I got to start yeah. baking more cakes. Kids over here getting skinny for. For skinny for hose or something. I don't know what he's doing. A skinny for the hose. For hose. It's his turn to go to Key West. <laughs> and you keep taking photos, you might get some sponsors there, Heath. Yeah. Yeah, Heath, you might get some sponsors. So might get a couple like sponsors. Off. There no, you go. please don't. Wait, I'm going to shut the camera. We'll get you some off. silkies. Get you some silkies, <laughs> and uh, you'll be golden. Holy shit, <laughs> Dustin's back. Hey, hey. We had a whole, we had so a whole like don't... giveaway when you were gone. Yeah, that's cool. Right. They Everybody gave knows. all the hosts of the show that were there at the moment. They gave us all like lifetime free. I'll give you a. Shirts. I'll give away this tape. Oh, and, Justin, you uh, already gave away all your stuff. Oh, okay. I was gonna say this like half a uh, box of uh, Hornady uh, Critical Duty. He's mm -hmm. got it because he was here and you weren't. Oh shit. <laughs> It gets all the fun things. I feel like Heath is here more than you anyway, Dustin. Oh. I, I feel like I've been longer Burn. here than longer than all of you. Yeah. Rewind sure re you know. the tapes. That depends. If yeah. we go by how many episodes you've been here. Yeah. I was yeah, I was a star of an episode, so I was too. That, episode that, one or eight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was true, yeah. Um what do we got here? Uh I noticed uh what, I mean, when I plugged in a Facebook, just a search. I mean, Grunt Style has tons of different social media outlets. I don't know if some of them are fake or all of them's real. Yeah, I mean, there's like the Grunt Style Outdoors, and then there's Grunt Style, and then there's the Shooting Team, and there's all yeah. types of, and all of them are really successful um, social media pages. I mean, Grunt yeah. Style itself has like almost two million Facebook followers. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. how how important is it? Uh, uh, how important is social media marketing to apparel companies or just companies in general? A lot of companies I feel have a good product, but really aren't taking advantage of social media. Well, you know, it's, it's a, it's a bit of a trick bag to tell you the truth. Cause if you just go into, you know, social media space and, you know, I say I start a company, I just start marketing on Facebook. My odds of success are going to be relatively low because, you know, Facebook is a very tricky space. They, you know, they change their algorithms almost frequently, uh, almost mm -hmm. daily, right? And, you know, one strategy that's working today is not going to work tomorrow or next week. Uh, but what we have found at Grunt Style is that, you know, for us, you know, for we want to be a lifestyle brand. And, and, and taking that step is, you know, we got to be that outdoors 
uh, brand. We have to be that fitness brand. We have to be that street brand. We have to be that motor that motorsports brand. Uh, and we just started creating these channels, and you know we've been really successful. Uh, you know we have a, a great marketing team that really knows how to maneuver through the social media space and uh, really capitalize on on communicating to the individual. And it kind of goes back to what I said earlier. Um, you know, one of the, the 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 secrets to our success is just knowing how to communicate straight to the individual uh, at any point uh, of the day, the week, the month, the year, uh, and and just understanding who they are and, and giving them great things. Because again, if you're not listening to who your customer is, then you're probably just forcing a whole bunch of shit out there and nobody wants forced stuff. You know, they're, the consumer is a very uh, picky uh, individual and you got to listen to what they want. Being a, uh, a pro gun company, do you get the backlash on the, the face tubes and all the other social medias? Uh, or do you skate that by uh, being a clothing company only, not not parts and accessories uh, or firearms in general? Yeah, uh, we are very uh, pro uh, Second Amendment, right? You know, it's uh, probably the most important amendment in all the Constitution, right? Because it protects the First Amendment. Um, and what we've been able to do in in our world is, you know, we have a a, a product line that supports that, but we don't necessarily you know, advertise it, right? It's just implied, right? Because we are a very patriotic company. We're very, uh, you know, veteran heavy. And, you know, what are the two things when you think about veterans and, and patriots? Freedom and fucking weapons, right? And, you know, so they kind of go hand in hand. And uh, we, you don't have to necessarily make a very hard attempt at, at, at uh, the Second Amendment community because if you're, again, communicating in a way that they understand exactly what you're doing without having to, you know, force any type of communication, they're going to get it. Yeah. Speaking of weapons, I mean, Joe has a lineup going on. What, 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 what weapon? What brand weapon are you waving around, Joe? No, oh, say again. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the model on that weapon he keeps waving around on the camera? Oh man, so this is a. Uh, a one of a kind, custom made for me, Scotty Cameron Newport putter. Sorry. Joe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. likes to golf too. He exactly, golf. and uh, yeah, you know, and uh, you know, it sports a super stroke, uh, um, you know, um, uh, American flag grip, which was uh, debuted and given to me at the uh, Ryder Cup in Madonna. So, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and Jen's right. I like to golf. There you go. <laughs> He's just as much into golf as he is guns. There you go. Yeah, I came out more from the golf side of, uh, of things before the whole shooting stuff ever even materialized. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. And that's why there's girls that don't golf? Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Tim and I actually met playing golf at a Veteran Golfers Association uh, championship. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, that's when we really got to talking about, uh, yeah, shooting sports and, and here I was trying to explain to him about, you know, like, uh, precision long range and, um, you know, um, Mike Burt who, uh, with Grunt Style was also there as well. And, uh, they had just, you know, made, um, some, uh, awesome Grunt Style polo shirts for all of the, uh, um, competitors to wear. And it was it was soon after that I was uh, actually going to shoot a uh, match down at Core, uh, Florida, and I thought it'd be a kind of a cool joke and spin to uh, uh, have Grunt Style uh, make that make a polo shirt look like a shooting jersey, you know, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so uh, you know, little known fact, you know, I, I have an uncle very high, you know. I, well, he's retired now, but he was very high up with uh, Dr. Pepper, you know, and I said, hey, you know, I'd like to put the Dr. Pepper logo uh, on the shirt. He blessed it off. Their marketing department sent Grunt Style uh, their logo. Uh, and we made a, we made this like really, you know, uh, generic shooting shirt. And I, I went down and shot this match as a joke. And people were like, what the hell, Grunt Style and Dr. Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, brands that, you know, I don't think, you know, most of the people would ever 
expect to see out there. But uh, you know what? Uh, after that, everybody in the world wants a Grand Style jersey. So, <laughs> yeah, I want and one. And I wish Pepper. every, I wish every match was sponsored by Dr. Pepper. Pepper. You know, the, the ones I shoot are. Diet Dr. Pepper is my favorite thing. I drink one literally every day. That's right, because you know what? We don't plan on going thirsty. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, and now recently Monster Energy, too. Uh, I'm not, you know, I, I try not to drink too much of that stuff because it kind of gives my fingers the twitches. But, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Pepper, you know, is, uh, you know, in good cahoots with Monster. And, you know, I've gotten the uh, uh, host of some veteran uh, deer hunts uh this past fall that uh you know what uh, we, we made monster energy uh sponsor and pay and pay for and and uh take care of all the uh vets that came out to participate so yeah awesome yeah i'm a big fan of monster and dr pepper man i'm trying to lay off of it because i feel like i'm just getting getting more weight more weight i'm blaming it on dr pepper go to diet yeah. dr pepper don't find it yeah don't well, fight I, it i like, I like don't, 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 fight, don't fight it we get to every time I get to go see Joe uh, at, at something. We always end up finding the Monster Energy girl. <laughs> you're just you're just packing on mass. That's uh, you're, you're building up mass. Monster Energy girl show up at our local match out here at Clinton in Clinton, South Carolina. I mean nowhere, South Carolina. And I'm always like, what are they doing here? Like, how did they find us? <laughs> yeah. They always have the crappiest monsters because you know everybody wants that white can. Everybody it's wants to um, oh. and they go, Oops. And they go <laughs> I'm sorry. Name? There's a shooter, and her husband works with them, and that's how they ended up out there. She used to be a um, cheerleader for the Carolina Panthers. Megan Hoover, yeah, she was. Yes, she was, thank you. Twenty minutes. Megan down Hoover. Yeah, her husband works with Monster, and that's why. Um, I need to. Then I need to tell. I'm friends with her. Like she lives down the road. I need to tell her they need to start bringing them white cans in because I don't. No one wants that sweet tea nonsense. <laughs> I like the Whoa, sweet. you're from the south and you're gonna tell me you don't want no sweet tea? You Get know I was born and raised out of here. You what know I was this? born and raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I don't drink no sweet tea. Bluebell. Oh. That's why <laughs> half sweet. of my matches are in the south. Yeah. Shit's getting real, real quick. Uh half of my matches are in the south because of barbecue and sweet tea. Like <laughs> oh. I purposely Pick matches like I'm like oh where are we going? Uh, I could go to Tennessee or I could go to Utah. Well, fuck that, I'm going to Tennessee. Yeah, there you go. That's how just that's how uh, Dustin uh, organizes his match schedule. Yeah, my sweet tea. Uh, <laughs> Bryce Ten Allen says I think it's really awesome when competitive shooters help each other out. Uh, it has helped me tremendously to be coach and getting con constructive criticism. Big shout out to Heath Clevenger for the help. Sorry. Heath was on the show for two minutes and already got a live shout out. Already got a live shout out. And a discount code. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, and you know, he makes a great point. Uh, you know, I've only been in the, the shooting side for a year, and you know, the funny story is, you know, I haven't touched a, a weapon since uh, I came back from Iraq. And when uh, I was down at Core, uh, I got behind uh, a rifle um, with the AMU. And, uh, you know, started shooting. I was like, man, I'm hitting targets six, eight, nine, a thousand yards out. And I was like, Jesus, this is great. You know, I've, I've been missing this. Um, and then, you know, getting with the grunt style shooting team and getting the opportunity to go around and compete in all these different matches. You're, you're absolutely right. The, what I absolutely truly enjoy about uh, the long range shooting community is that, you know, there are so many people out there that are just want to, you know, give out the information that they've spent years and years and years trying to perfect. Uh, yeah. and, and there's absolutely no ego uh, when it comes to somebody that's new and, and that's struggling and you get a, a shooter that's been on the, the in the competition for 10 years coming over and say, hey, make this adjustment here. And make sure your parallax is looking at the yardage that you wanted to dream in. You know, so those are really helpful in the I think that's what really makes the sport so awesome. And why I think yeah, I continue to, to shoot in it because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Jennifer got that same. Uh, she showed up in a Go Fast jersey, and 
and a, and she never shot a match before. Went by herself, and everybody wanted to help her out. So uh, you know, I would I would have had. Well, I guess you were obligated to wear the Go Fast jersey, but I would have showed up in a plain white shirt. No, I didn't take my jacket off because it was cold. Number one. <laughs> People were probably like, look at this girl. She what? And because Sponsored I went to the 20 first, companies, she must know what she's doing. And because I went to the first stage and hit one target and was like, oh, my God, what have I done? <laughs> yeah. It got better throughout the day. But the first stage, I was like, yeah, I'm not taking my jacket off. <laughs> thousands, and thousands of dollars later, now you're <laughs> deep, in the, deep in the sport. But everybody was offering you all the bags and all that stuff, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, we. It's, uh, it's, it's I mean, really, yeah. and it's one of the first yeah, ways that you can have that type of camaraderie. You, know, you try try going into golf and and you know beating in golf and some guy saying, "Hey, you you know maybe you know tuck your right elbow in because you're chicken winging it." Nobody's gonna say that. they're gonna be, they're gonna look at you. He's like, "Yeah, that guy's not gonna make it to the next round." <laughs> yeah, they're gonna laugh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I went to that match with you know, I mean, I know three gun and pistol shoot, but I didn't know anything about long range, so I went to this match. And all I had was Joe's bags that he had given me. He's like, here, you're going to need these, take them. And we had gone out to Fort Gordon and gotten my um, dope and put it in his Kestrel. And I literally like wrote it on a card. So I have my dope on this card for everything. And that's what I used the whole match. So. Yeah. If, if you've never seen Joe's FJ uh, at a shooting competition, uh, I implore you to stop by because it's almost like Tom Fuller's meat wagon. He's got more gear in there than anything. <laughs> He's willing to share it with everybody. I know he kept pulling bags out here. Uh, yeah, these I might use. These you can use for a while. Just take these and keep them for a while. And <laughs> mm, awesome. always willing to help. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, so Anthony, I mean, I, I know like you're talking about. Uh, you know, you want to get in to learn it. You know, and so one of the important tools that uh, you know, like you, you know, I talked over with Jen on the range is uh, what we refer to as the PFM machine. And so, uh, in fact, uh, we had uh, our partners over at Kestrel engrave uh, all of our uh, uh, Kestrels here with uh, this nice grunt style logo and it says PFM machine. And of course, uh, Katie Godfrey, you're there, you know, they're like, you know, what does PFM machine stand for? I said, man, pure fucking magic. You know, <laughs> I said, and you push numbers and buttons and it tells you what to do. I mean, it makes a complete moron look like a hero, you know? Yeah, but, I'm jealous of that thing. He entered in all the stuff, and voila, we had that. Yeah, I was like, exactly. oh, I, mean, I want one. How much are those? And he told me, and I was like, yeah, that's going to have to go on the list for later. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've seen grown men cry when their batteries die. You know, <laughs> y'all. You know? We were getting we were getting ready for uh, Candace's class, and she's like, "Yeah, if you guys want to bring anything like range finders or Kestrel or anything like that, I had to Google what that was. You know, Kestrel was a bird. It's actually a really pretty bird. <laughs> they're brown with white. They're brown heads, got white bellies. I was like, Kestrel, yeah. What the heck is she talking about? And then she said the same thing y'all did. That it's like magic. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple live ones here. Havoc Leading Shooting Team says, uh, what's the next step for grunt style? You guys already have everything from golf, workout, outdoor. Where else is there to go? Well, it's uh, now it's time to, to compete in the larger spaces, you know. So we've, we've got the, the foundation set. Now it's time to, to build the house. And, uh, you know, looking at, uh, you know, businesses like Under Armour, you know, Reebok, some of those bigger, well-established uh, businesses, um, and and really produce and manufacture some really quality, uh, some real quality uh, items that uh, we can compete with them in a larger sense, and, and really become, you know, the idea is to become America's brand. I think that we have the message, we have the foundation, we have all the right pieces, um, and I, you know, I think within the next few years, you're going to really see Grunt Style as a staple product of Americana. So shoes. I, I love me shoes. Shoes, shoes. From from the toes to the top to the crown of your head, you're going to uh, have shoes. a product for every every climb and place. There you go. Uh, Regina also says, "Great show tonight. Uh, love me some Joe Kaylee, even though my Dr Pepper is the diet variety." Uh, hey, it's sweetness. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> glad to see glad to see Candace, Tim, and Joe all on the same show. Grunt style shirts are my all time favorites. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Dina. I need to know how Grunt Style got into my social media technology. I buy, what, two shirts, three shirts, and now every ad that comes up on Facebook <laughs> is Grunt Style. I'm not it's mad, it's but I mean, you're advertising a shirt I already bought. Like, I already bought this shirt. <laughs> yeah. Buy it again. So, <laughs> I, went, like, I went to the website, liked so, it on Facebook, did all that stuff doing a research of the show, and now every ad is also Grunt Style. I was like, go. I already own this shirt. This is a shirt I had in my cart, and I got out and removed it from my cart, and now it's sitting here in my face. Like you should have bought this shirt too. <laughs> yeah. It's called uh, it's called Skynet. I can't, I can't explain our technology, but uh, I'm very happy that it's working. It's called uh, <laughs> Skynet. Is that the name of it? It, 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 <laughs> it right. works very right. well. I tell you that. I went to the website and. And now it's everywhere. So but I, I had know. this shirt in my cart. Like, I was going to buy this. It came down to this and the one I bought. And I bought the other one. And now this one keeps showing up on every ad. Like, like, like should have bought it. it should have bought it. Yeah. Are you still interested in this grunt style t-shirt? Boom, in the corner. It's like, what? <laughs> like, I hadn't already been thinking about it. Like, man, I, I know so yeah. many outfits that shirt, that shirt would have matched. It would have matched my green olive true spec awesome pants that I can save you 20% on better than proper. Um, <laughs> who, who rocks went, olive anymore? Welcome to 95 OD I green. I love olive. I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> olive. But now and then, of course, as I'm thinking about it, I'm scrolling through Facebook. It's like, there's that shirt that I wanted that would look good with those olive pants. Gosh darn it. Yep. Going back. It's, it's, it's like American Express. It's everywhere <laughs> you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, recently here, Grunt Style has partnered up, partnered up with a, like you announced, some of the shooting team and some of the shooters on that team. But what do you guys look for before you sponsor someone or partner someone, partner up with someone? You know, you're trusting that person with your brand. What do you look yeah. for? Well, I think that's a great question. And, you know, um, I think right now you're looking at two um, you know, great people that uh, fit exactly what Grunt Style is all about. I mean, Candace and Joe. You know, it's it really comes down for for what the, our brand represents its character, right? It's uh, what do you what do you like when nobody's looking? Uh, do you represent uh, the finest qualities of what this country represents? Uh, do you have great upstanding character? Do you do and do you commit yourself to things that are beyond the scope of what you're really uh, actively involved in, like community? What's your sense of community? Uh, and that's what it's down to like the personal level. Uh, on, on like business partnerships, it's you know, we we build relationships that we want to last the the, the test of time. You know, we're not in a business to, you know, even we, we may be a private company and, and profits are very important, but at the end of the day, it's, it's all about relationships, right? You know, if you can't have a one way relationship in any sort of business, it's all boats rise together, and you know, working uh, with businesses that really align, but what, what we represent, and we look at what what they stand for, and we're uh, they put themselves out in their spaces and how they communicate with their people. And, you know, we have created some great relationships. We're in, we have partnerships with Cabela's. Uh, we have partnerships with AFES, um, uh, Hibbets. Uh, we have a, a lot of great uh, companies that we do a lot of awesome work with. Uh, and then the more charitable side, you know, which is something that's very important for Grunt Style as well. You know, we work with the Toys for Tots, TAPS, uh, Gold Star Families. Uh, we've uh, given two hundred and four thousand dollars to the Dallas Fraternal Order of Police when uh, the five officers were slain uh, last year. Uh, so those things are really important to us, and it's something that you know it, it just takes it. It goes beyond business. It's a community, and it's you know, something that's important. And if you guys, if businesses can really focus on those things, imagine what awesome things could be done. Man, it's also awesome, awesome to hear that stuff, and also. I mean, I know some some other people are listening out there. I mean, this is you know a good way to give back to the community, maybe grow your company at the same time. You know, it's awesome yeah. opportunities out there. I also want to get to Candice Candice's point of view on this as a shooter, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, companies who've probably approached you and or or sent you emails. And how do you decide what company to go with as a shooter? I mean, obviously we're just not gonna hey, I'll take that deal. You know, you, are you doing some research? What companies do you really decide to partner up with? Um, well, it's kind of, I'm in a unique situation right now because, um, since I write, I can't be sponsored by a lot of companies or companies in general because then, then there would be a conflict of interest when I write. Um, so before when, before I was writing as much as I am 
now. Um, I would pick companies that first I would go and I'd tour the factory and it would have to be a company that I liked and a company that had the same kind of values as me and then a product that I would actually run. So if after I researched the company and, and then they said, yeah, we want to sponsor you, um, then I would try out their product if I wasn't already familiar with it. And I would put it through trials and tribulations for a couple months before I'd go and have that second conversation with them. So for me, it, just like anything else, it's more about the relationship for me. And then um, from there, I will decide if I want to like, you know, be in a more serious relationship with them, which is sponsorship. Um, I feel like you shouldn't sell your soul for a shell county. Um, if the only trade off is that you're going to put a company's logo on your jersey and you get a shell county for it, like what? Who, who's actually gaining there? Um, so I feel like you should really look at a company and see what they're about, see, learn about their products and their full product line, and then make the decision to be sponsored by them or not. I usually try to break their shit, and if it doesn't break, then I, then I say, hey, I like your stuff. And I, and I bought this thing and I try to break it and it didn't break. So can I have another one? Yeah. yeah <laughs> geez. Geez, Dustin huh. just takes an awesome. Candace puts it down and Dustin's just like, you know what? That's what we're here for. He just brings it back down. I just take a, I just take yeah. a crayon and I just draw you a picture. Yeah, no, crayon. Crayon. Is it crayon? crayon? How do you say it? Sharpies, magic marker. What do you want from me? Because I've been saying it wrong for years. Color pencils? I say, I say a lot of things wrong. Oh, yeah. Who's moving? Oh. People oh, hitting each other. <laughs> What's going on? Somebody, <laughs> somebody, <laughs> Can, Candace just muted Joe. I didn't mean to. I don't even know how I did that. Everybody keeps muting each other. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can unmute. Oh, no. He's got uh -oh, to unmute. He's, he's got, got to unmute himself. Unmute, <laughs> you unmute, unmute yourself. I, I muted you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, go, uh, uh, man, Candace, and here, here, you know, here I thought, you know, man, me and Tim hit the gold mine by getting her on the spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more shirts for you. you see know, Tim in the hey, background, he's just like, we took her out to Waffle House at two a.m. in the land. <laughs> oh that's, wow, that's, that's the team. Hero. That's the team. I mean, meal. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> it was sealed over. The Waffle House. I'm sorry. Two dollar a day you, allowance. Yeah, if you if you go to the Waffle House at two a.m., you're pretty much in a serious relationship. You, you if you don't that. break grits with me, then you're not on the team. <laughs> I, I send I send him and Tim pictures all the time when I go to YouTube or go to go to Waffle House now, and I tell him like you're missing out. You could be here, but you're not with me. Exactly. If you have their phone numbers, send them pictures of Waffle House. <laughs> and next yeah. match will be sponsored by Waffle House. All right. Oh, oh my God. God. They'd have to have more porta potties if that was the case. Can you, uh, <laughs> maybe Waffle you can House use TSM 10. If you, uh, Waffle House? Yeah, Waffle House. Just yell it. It might get 10% yeah, off. Do you don't know. It might get yeah. you a free ride home, too. Yeah. <laughs> it might get you a free ride home. What are you yeah. talking about? Half the people in that establishment at 2 a.m. are going to be like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, what we had a couple uh Dustin, you put one in here. Um uh one of your questions. I don't know, you want to throw that one out there? Uh maybe pull that back up. Don't it's so unprepared, Dustin. You uh -huh. have your split screen going. Why don't you have the questions on one side? Uh, Video yeah. on the other. Well, we're gonna wait on Dustin here. Hold on. Just keep Looking at me, and keep judging me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I have my next level. question ready. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Nikki. Thanks. Hey, this is. I I'll ask. Let me. I got you, Dustin. Take your time. Oh yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> where do you guys get your design ideas? Because they're very broad, but they are very unique. I mean, where oh. do these come up with? Who comes up with these? Where does this come from? So we have a, a pretty rigorous um, yeah, internal process in how we do things. Uh, we have. The eight uh, uh, designers, and you know, we we really look for people that are um, like to think uh, have a little bit of darker mind. Um, and then, uh, then every Monday, we'll kind of look through all the products, and you know, uh, we'll say this one looks good, this one is refinished or refined. Uh, so it's a it's a really a bit of a group effort. Um, you know. We take a lot of suggestions from people when they, uh, you know, send in comments. Uh, some people will send us emails saying, "Hey, this would be a great design for a shirt, blah blah blah." And 
you know, we'll, we'll get it, we'll, we'll put something down and we'll send that individual a free shirt. Uh, so we, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of everything. Um, Do you ever get one handed to you and you look at it and you're like, this is shit. Why would you even give this to me? Uh, no. You're fired. Maybe. Uh, not really a try again or this needs refined. I feel like you telling them, oh, this needs refined a little bit is like a nice way of saying this is crap. Did this, you use the paint? Yeah. You I think uh, the one that was. Uh, the the shirt that really kind of disturbed me the most, uh, and it's not because it was a bad design or anything, but know that there is tens of twenty of thousands of people that are walking around with my face on their shirt right now, saying "fuck your feelings, <laughs> drink your freedom." Uh, <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of those people like in live out and about in the world, like just walking down the street? Oh yeah. Oh man, you like. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. I'm 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 you know I'm a very humble person and you know I'm, I I can I can be socially awkward, uh, but when like I'll be in the airport walking and uh, you know some guy will come up to me he's like oh dude you're the Grunt Style First Sergeant oh man I'd love to get an autograph I'm like uh, uh, I don't do autographs let's just do a picture man how about a picture uh, and you know like I was at a baseball game and he was like on the other side of the mezzanine and I'm like what the fuck is going on here and he comes up to me like. All huffing the puff, he's like, Grunt style, first sergeant. Oh my god, uh, so, <laughs> kind of weird. Um, but it's it's really great seeing out in, in in the world. We like to call it the wild, and uh, you know, that's what's really like. One thing I find fascinating about the shirt is you could be anywhere, and if you're wearing a grunt style shirt and you see somebody else wearing a grunt style shirt, you're gonna lock eyes for a minute. You're either gonna nod your head or you're gonna walk over to the individual and you're gonna strike a conversation, right? So, you know, one thing I like to think about our product is it's a conversation starter. It's something that brings people together and, and you know, maybe it's two veterans that says, hey, man, where did you serve? I did this. I did that. Or maybe it's uh, two patrons that says, hey, man, I love that design. I love this company. I really love what they stand for. And it strikes a conversation there. So, you know, that's that's how I see our product. Something that uh, it is good for conversation. You should have like an, an awkward like handshake or like some or like secret, secret, secret style, style. like just, just walk by there and slowly brush their shoulder or something. <laughs> just caress, backhand caress their cheek as you walk by. <laughs> just because that's what you something. like to do does that doesn't mean we all want something. to. But here's the shit. I'll actually do that. If I saw Tim out in the wild, I'll just walk by and just caress his shoulder as I walk. Just keep walking. Don't say anything. <laughs> just um, my ear. do that and just... Yeah, just touch your earlobe as you walk by. <laughs> yes, we know you do that, Dustin. Should I've, had, I've had people come up to me and ask them to cut a little piece of my beard off for their for this show. I'm like, <laughs> a lock of your beard here. Yeah, that's happens. a little weird. That's a little yeah. voodoo-ish. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So I got my questions. See, I'm ready now. Uh, so I know you guys do a lot of charity work. Uh, we kind of talked about a little bit of that. Uh, and then OEM and stuff, uh, other manufacturer making shirts for other companies. Um, how does the organization, a group, a charity get a hold of Grunt Style and say, hey, I got this event going on. I love your guys' shirts. Can you can you handle that for me? How do we do that? Oh, absolutely. So you can go on the, the Grunt Style website at gruntstyle.com. And uh, on the tabs, there's a custom tab. Um, you know, we've got something very exciting uh, that's out right now is our, our uh, t-shirt generator. So you can go onto the web page and create your own t-shirts um, and you know, go through that process. Uh, or you can, uh, you know, there's access uh, on the site that uh, will take you to a email address and you can send your information there and you'll be contacted within 24 hours by uh, one of our sales team members. Um, and you know, that's, that's really exciting. You know, we love doing these types of projects. Uh, the charitable side, uh, we love doing a B2B where, you know, if I have a business and I want gross style to print it, you know, we do a lot of those. We've done some really, really big businesses like Boeing, USAA, you know, some some really outstanding. Uh, um, and, you know, right now, you know, I would say that we are probably one of the best in the industry in, in delivering those products. By the time that you actually pay for a design, you will have that order uh tracking invoice within five days. I can't, I can't think of many businesses out there that have that type of turnaround on uh, an order of 50 shirts or an order of 10,000. Do you have a minimum order? Uh, right now our minimum order is 50. Yeah, that ain't too bad. 
No, yeah. not bad at all. And then we have, you know, uh, for a little bit of other products we have is our Grunt Style Limited. Uh, so, you know, if you want to uh, put up a shirt and raise money for a charity of your own liking, uh, you know, you can put a $20 t-shirt up with a $5 or $10 uh, cost adjustment on that. And, uh, you know, say you sell 50 shirts at a $5, $5 um, additional, for you to get a check in the form of whatever you sold. And you can donate that money to a charity of your liking. So there's yeah. different ways of uh, making money and, and, and distributing some of that to charitables or, you know, making your own profit. You know, we've, we've got uh, some really great guys that we've partnered with. Uh, done extraordinarily well with their own brands. You know, um, you know Acal, Adam Calhoun, one of our one of our very good partners. Uh, we help him with his brand and a lot of his. And uh, yeah. this guy's just killing it. Yeah, I think the uh, the guys at Fallen Hero Dream Ride um, did a shirt, and I think it it uh, took off pretty well because I know I've seen that out and about here in St. Yeah. Louis, and. Um, and especially with the, the Marine Corps League guys, uh, a lot of those guys picked them up too. So that was a, a grunt style shirt done up uh, with the, the charity kind of style uh, contribution to yeah. it. So look at and look at the, um, the the shirts that people are getting for the matches, right? Um, you know, a lot of these long range matches. You know, uh, grunt style has been a, a very um, good at getting into the the shooting world, and you know. Most people will go to a match and they get their shirt and it's one of those gildens that you wouldn't even put on your dog, right? So you wear that one time like, uh, uh, fucking throw this in the garbage. But, you know, I, I can't tell you uh, how many people, and you know, Joe and I talk about this a lot in the sense that, you know, like you're wearing one right now. You, you know, this is not a shirt that you're just going to wear one time when you get out of match. This is a shirt that you wear for a long time. One, because it's comfortable and two, you have pride in what you did. All right, um we got a couple live questions here. We're going to run through all the live ones before we wrap this one up. What do you got, Jennifer? Joshua Doss uh, joined in and said, uh, what's up, Thin Mint lovers? <laughs> um, that would be me, me, not Nikki. But anyway, so you can, hey, Josh. You can smell it through the box in this vortex. Yeah. That's right. That's weird. <laughs> but he had a few questions. Well, number one, he said he didn't realize that Grunt Style had a shooting team until yesterday. Um, he said he was out of the loop. And he doesn't own a shirt yet, but he wants to get one. He's a Navy guy. Um, he wanted to know if y'all are involved in Go Ruck. Uh, I think we've done a lot of their pro, uh, uh, their, their projects. Um, you know, there's a, a lot of those, um, you know, long, like they're 25 milers, right? Uh, I think we've done some stuff with Go Ruck. Uh, we've done one here in Chicago. I did it uh, last year, and it was a ball buster, 25 miles from North Chicago down to here. Uh, I haven't done that since I was back in, back in infantry, and it, it broke me. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. <laughs> well, he also wanted to ask you, Tim, he said, that beard, are you an all-natural <laughs> kind of guy, or do you use stuff in it? I, I don't <laughs> use anything. Well, let me rephrase. What I do use is my wife's Pantene Pro-V conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keith uses that same stuff. I'm telling you. I'm like, what are you using my conditioner for? Right? He's like, okay. when I go when I go to get uh, so I get my hair cut at sports clips and then I'm, every once in a while I'm like trim the trim the fuzz, you know, the wild hairs and all the girls are like, Oh my god, it's the softest beard I've ever touched. I'm like, Pantene <laughs> ladies, Pantene. <laughs> <laughs> That is hilarious. And his last question was for Candace. He said your can looks cool. What is he wants to know about your can? Which one? Well, he he's seeing the can cover, which is a Armageddon gear um, suppressor cover. Oh, I thought those were smaller guns, and then she rolls back, and the camera angle changes. <laughs> There you go. So, wow. Thunder Bay uh, Armageddon gear suppressor cover. Sweet. There you go. Nice. nice. I got a couple here. Um, Big Mike says, what was the one t-shirt you wanted to make but knew if you put it out that the company might have to close shop? So that well, one. This is a great, this is a great question. Probably one of my favorite questions of the night, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> So there's a I got a joke that goes around the office that there's one product that the company won't let me the chief operating of the uh, uh, chief operating officer of the company won't let me put out 
It's not necessarily a shirt, but it's a pair of women's underwear. <laughs> and on the front of it, it says, it has a picture of a tornado, and it says, Fatal Funnel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, giggles, giggles. So you do know that I'm associated with a company here in St. Louis that literally has like no filter. Yeah, yeah. So I've already copyrighted it, so don't get any idea. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe a collaboration is in sorts. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> Send me an so, email. See what we can do. There, what's your email if someone wants some <laughs> fatal funnel? <laughs> Uh, Here, how about this? How about this? Anybody that wants to see this product come to life, go to Grunstyle's Facebook page on the back wall. Say, go Hashtag Fatal Funnel. Hashtag Fatal Funnel. <laughs> Hashtag Fatal Funnel. Right, awesome. Um, and I think, I think we're going to wrap it up with that. Thanks for all the questions. Big Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, perfect to end on. Yeah. I, got a I got one more question, though. I got one more. How many employees work for y'all? Like, what are y'all? What are you numbers at right now? Right, right now we're at 240. We're continuing to expand. Uh, we have uh, several job opportunities that's open right now. Um, you know, if anybody is that's in, in the Chicagoland area looking for some work, uh, please check us out at grunstyle.com uh, forward slash careers. You'll see a long list of opportunities that uh, we are currently trying to fill. And uh, again, I, I, I think by the end of the this year, here we'll be well over 300 individuals on our staff. Um, and you know the the idea is to get uh, you know as many people on and continue to grow the company. Um, and you know. It, but do you, but do you know most of your employees? I, I'd like to say that I know every one of them. Okay, so when I ordered my stuff, this one dude was helping me out. His he's awesome. I don't know many how many Franciscos you have that work for you. Okay, yeah, and customer service, yes. But Francisco helped me out, and he was awesome, and. I don't. I didn't tell him I was gonna like say he was awesome, but since y'all are here and I just ordered a bunch of stuff and talked to him, I was like, you know what? I'm a name drop. Yeah, that's awesome. I, <laughs> he's, a, he's a great dude. Uh, you know, he's one of uh, many on the customer service team that really. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that we're very proud about. You know, we uh, have a uh, uh, something in our team called the 2020 rule, uh, and it's uh, answer the phone call within 20 seconds and answer an email within 20 minutes. Uh, right now, we've been able to carry under that 2020 rule for the first six months of the year. Uh, so I'd like to uh, go around with uh, the CEO and our CMO and really tell the world how great our customer service team is. Yeah, I think you Just a lot of knife hands and a lot of yelling in the office, right? That's right. You hear all sorts of shit. In the <laughs> but I mean, like, I'm that I'm like a planner, and I need to know when stuff is going to get here when I need it to get here because I needed it before I wanted the sweatshirt before I left for Key West and there was a back ordered item you know the Reaper that shirt literally back makes no sense whatsoever by the way yeah. is it cool that, is that, that is like West? the dumbest shit I've ever heard you're like I'm gonna go to Mexico where it's 100 degrees I'm gonna need a parka you gotta run <laughs> out parka because yeah. I need that in like two three weeks okay but look <laughs> just you don't know my life Dustin okay if I want to take cold. pictures of my grunt style sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> muted Nick. Dustin muted, muted Nikki now. Oh, man. Well and time, he so. is so excited. Well time. I was talking about not having pants on and he muted me, ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. And the views go down. Anyway, yeah. Fra Francisco was awesome. He got me what I wanted, Great. shipped my stuff. I think Francisco so I needs. West. Some Dr. Right. Pepper and a gift card to um, uh, Waffle House. There you go. On Tim. <laughs> Dr. Pepper and a gift card to the Waffle House. That's he $3 probably, won't, he three probably won't even house. he probably won't even remember our email conversations. But when I got my little review, your customer service stuff afterwards, I gave him five stars. Beautiful. That's what that's what I love to hear. The great team. Okay, now I'm okay, done. Now, now you can wrap, you it, can wrap up it up wherever Anthony went. It's okay. Hey, there's actually one last one. Uh, so it said, uh, how much do you guys at Grunstyle travel each year, I guess, to different events? Uh, how, how often do we travel? Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, that's a All great the question. You know, we, uh, with the, with the Grunt Style or the Grunt Fest that we do, um, you know, we've been all over the country this year. We've been, uh, you know, Colorado Springs, Raleigh, North Carolina, Chicago, uh, but it will be in uh, San Diego, 
Uh, we've been down to, uh, you know, San Antonio. So we plan on taking this uh, to almost every major city in the United States in the next uh, couple months, in the next 18 months, actually. And uh, we want to bring this experience to everybody. So you know, if, uh, keep your eyes out on the Grunt Style Events Facebook page. Uh, there's a very long list of where we're going to be and, uh, and the things that are coming down in the future. Um, and you know, check out every Grunt Style Facebook page. They're all there, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to find out everything you need to know. There you go. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Appreciate every, all the questions that came, that came in. We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to go down to shout outs. Jan, we'll start off with you. What do you got? All right, Lansing Tactical for Awesome Rifles. That's the rifle that um, actually Joe Cayley has shot and probably shot it better than I did, but this is the 308 that I'm shooting from Lansing. And Joe's daughter even painted a little bit of uh, nail polish in the Lansing symbol on the lower. So it's a special rifle. That's right. Anyway, it's awesome. Check them out. Um, ZT Knives. Load up ammunition, night force, optics, um, sharpshooters of Augusta and shooters of Augusta, grizzly targets, Lucas Oil, proper, carbon arms, and Samson Manufacturing Operation X. All right, Dustin, what do you got? Uh, as always, the awesome people over at Springfield Armory, Rise Armaments, X Products, Tactical Shit, proper. Uh, American Manufacturing has my 30 cal can. We're talking about silencers and stuff. I got my 30 cal can that I was going to go pick up today, but then I got busy. Uh, Vortex Optics, uh, Greg's Cast Photography, RCA, and Black Nitride, because Black Nitride matters. Distant in Arms for all your communist needs, contact holsters. Uh, BBI Bullets on my sweet hardcore ammunition. Edge Tactical Eyewear, keeping my eyes all safe and whatnot. Uh, and Pro Ears. So nice. hit me up on the face tubes and the Instagrams for all kinds of cool, fun things. The face tubes. Well, where's that at? It's on online. You got to okay. check the internet. It's catching on. It's a thing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, Nikki, shout out to you. <laughs> um, I'm putting my pants. That's why the camera's off. I'm trying to catch Transformers here. So I, do, I do the show with no pants, and I got I'm trying to get there. Starts at ten forty-five. <laughs> and you said we lost viewers because I said something about not wearing pants, and you're over here talking about trying to put pants on. Come on in. That's it gets the viewers though. And then he gets the pants off. <laughs> Take your shirt off. All right. Um, I want to shout out Criterion Barrels, American Defense Manufacturing, Eagle Imports, True Spec, Pure Gold Shotgun Chokes, the official shotgun choke of Three Gun Nation. Stage Zero Shooting Supply, Red Hill Tactical, Safari Land. Um, support your local gun shop. My local gun shop is The Outdoor Shop. You can check them out at theoutdoorshop.rocks. And shout out to GPO and ZT Knives. And then I also like to shout out um, companies and products that I like that I'm not sponsored by. So shout out to Tough Grand Products, style. Techware USA, Grand Dangerous style. But Good, and and this is an awesome thing. Kershaw knives as well. That's the same thing. I got a Kershaw knife and a ZT knife. Um, the awesome thing you're talking about is from Armageddon Gear. Armageddon Gear is my next thing. No, I just just inter introduced awesome this awesome stuff. So products I'm not sponsored by, but I like their stuff. So Great. Awesome. Uh, Candace, any shout outs? Um, oh, I could give you a whole list of discount codes and stuff. Uh, just go to breachbandclear.com and sign up for our newsletter and you will get discount codes. That's how that works. <laughs> Boom, there you go. She got a bunch of discount codes over there. Uh, that's it. That's all we got, man. That was just short, short and sweet. We haven't had one that one short and sweet in a while. Uh, that's going to leave it up to Joe. What do you got, Joe? Uh, man, you know what? I, I really want to give a shout out to uh, the companies that came together uh, to help uh, build our team rifles. Um, you know, so uh, we as a team put together a, a shopping list of, of, of great components, you know, pro uh, provided by some great companies. Proof Research Barrels, Defiance Actions, uh, Accuracy International Chassis, uh, Vortex Optics, Trigger Tech Triggers, and Silent Co. Suppressors. Uh, what's unique about this is, you know, our, our, we as a team will use these rifles for competition. And then at the end of the season, or um, we will be raffling or auctioning or donating these uh, rifles off to a charity of each one of our team members' choice. So, awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Heck yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> Excellent, Tim. That you're up. What do you got? Uh, well, I first want to thank all your listeners. Thank you for all the great questions. Uh, I really had a great time tonight. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, and you know, thanks uh, to my uh, illustrious team members here on the Grunt Style Shooting Team. If you haven't heard of the Grunt Style Shooting Team, check them out on the Grunt Style Sh uh, Shooting Team at Facebook. Uh, and then uh, you know, check out Grunt Style at GruntStyle.com and sign up for the newsletter. You'll get banged up, uh, and you will all of a sudden be followed in every social media that you're involved in, and you'll see our product everywhere. <laughs> I can vouch for that. <laughs> hey guys, uh, shout out to Maya in here. I'm getting, well, we're going to miss a movie. They're like, oh, we got to go. <laughs> Transformers, go. 11.31? No. Ah, 10.45, we can make it. <laughs> Get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> We're going put, live. Put on my live pants. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, what do we got? Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, right below the video, if you're watching on the YouTube side of things, you're going to see a subscribe button. Hit that every Wednesday at 9. We do a new episode of the Shooter's Mindset uh, featuring some more great companies or some more great shooters. Um, folks over at Tactical Shit, thank you for their support. Check them out, shop.tacticalshit.com, TSM 10 for 10% off. Uh, if you want to email me, bestshootersmindset at gmail.com is a good way to do that. You can tell me how horrible of a job I'm doing or how good of a job I'm doing, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can email me there. One Definitely star. thanks to uh, Tim, Joe, and Candace for coming on. We really appreciate spending two hours on the show with us here. Uh, um, definitely the folks at Rise Armament. Uh, since everybody wants to show off stuff, um, i got a fancy gun here from Rise Armament, Trio 8. Trio 8. You're like a sniper. Yeah, I got a, a glasses in the mail. So whatever. I'm gonna get into awesome. it. We're going to learn. Going to learn uh, today. One of those uh, fancy uh, Kestrel things, and I should be good to go. I should be champion in no time. I usually just lick my finger and hold it up to the wind. Yeah. And then I have a drum, and I just make it rain. Accuracy through volume. That works, right? Mm -hmm. Until you go to a PRS mm -hmm. match and you have no mulligans, you have one shot for each target, period. Yeah. Shit. 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 Yeah. Shit. Didn't think that. Far. I was like, wait a minute. This is a three gun. I don't have a 30 round mag. Yeah. Maybe that, at, uh, still uh, awesome to show up with a 50 round drum, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Folks over at Nate Square Tactical for a fine concealment holster. Check them out, natesquaretactical.com. Oh. And that's it. We're going to wrap it up. Episode 184 of the Shooter's Mindset featuring Grunt Style and the Grunt Style shooting team. We'll see you next Wednesday. Have a good one. Thanks.